Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones. Today we're going on to Chapter 4, Ancient Horrors. So we're going to go ahead and go to the Zaha, the Zaha, the Zaha ha ha, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. But we're going to the woods, so I'll go ahead and stop talking so we can be immersed in the story and I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, and that's the introduction, but before we get into the main story, from in the last episode, ba Ross, the boss, got to level 10 as a journeyman. So now, we get to go ahead and look at his muscles, and then proceed to choose the next class option for him. Which, you have two options since this is uh, first playthrough of the game. If you beat the game, I believe it's just once before, you also have the third option of keeping him as a journeyman. And then just getting up to level 20 and being like a super journeyman or a super trainee, as they're referred to. Um, so you can be a fighter, just like his dad. Ruffians with great strength, but poor defense. Or you can be a pirate, which we don't have any other pirate classes in the game. Um, tough brawlers who call the sea their home. They can both only wield axes right now. Fighters, once they get to their next promotional area, are more well-rounded for offense and a little bit more defense and resistance, I believe, than pirates and berserkers. Um, plus, they get the option to wield a bow as a warrior, which is their next pr promotion. But we're gonna, we're gonna make Ross the Boss a pirate, because that's just usually what I go with when I play this game. Um... They're kind of like tanks, essentially. Defense defense gets pretty high. Um, critical hit chance. The, their skill increases. <coughs> well, not during this, but their skill and their speed are usually pretty fast. So they're able to deal out a lot of damage and lots of opportunities for some tasty critical hit chances. So, there's also the next issue that we have with this chapter where we have to choose our team. So as you see in the upper right corner, we have the 9 out of 9 units that we can have, and we have to have specific units per chapter. Um, majority of the time, it's always going to be Erica or Ephraim if we decide to choose his route. Um, but in this case, we have to have Arter as well. So I think out of all of our options here... 
I kind of want to stick. Ross for sure. Well, here, first of all, we got to go ahead and do some uh, changing of the... Yeah. Changing of the items because no offense to Garcia, but I almost never use him in playthroughs. Not because he has like inherently bad stats or anything. However, I just don't nearly use him as much as I just do. Uh, I prefer to use Ross because I can train him up to level 20, promote him, get some huge stats, uh, and then I don't really have a lot of other Axe Warriors that I use after besides Ross the boss. So Garcia, we're going to bench you for a bit. Same thing with Naomi. Naomi, I'm just going to call her Naomi. Same thing with Naomi. Um, she is the only bow wielder that we can use in the game besides the uh, Inns later as another unit, but he's a promoted sniper. Um, but she's very limited in her... So, like, she can't, it's not like magic or javelins or hand axes where you can attack from one or two spaces. She can only attack from two spaces. And her stats are not great. Um, not bad, uh, especially the speed for being level one. <sighs> but I don't know, I just never use her either. So, I think what we're going to do when it comes to picking our units, we're going to go ahead and take out Garcia. Just for now. And we'll bring Nate. Name in just so she can get some chip damage in. We'll keep Molder. Vanessa, yeah. Okay. This I think this is gonna be solid. So, let's go ahead and start. One of my companions is in that village to the south. If any of you can get there swiftly, I implore you to watch over her safety. And that's where that's gonna be loot over there. Loot is a fairly decent unit. She has some really good um Okay, at least you double. <laughs> She's got some fairly decent uh, growth rates. Um, as well as being just kind of overall not terrible. Unlike Vanessa right now, that was pretty bad. I know there's only 51% chance and I probably should have honestly got in for the kill, but that's, yeah, neither here nor there. So we're going to go ahead and have Franz come in. And hopefully clean up. Nope. Please don't miss twice. That'll be embarrassing. This is the most crafty revenant. Okay. That's a very crafty revenant. <laughs> uh, we'll have friends here for a little more chip damage. We'll... I don't want to leave him un... Yeah. No. Okay. We'll move Ross the boss. Eh, you know what? We'll just leave him here. He can take a little bit of hits and we'll heal him with Molder. We'll have Arter here visit the village. Do you see that old snag to the south of here? Bet it would make a handy bridge if you can knock it over. Take a weapon to it and give it a few good whacks. That should do it. Here, take this and give it a try. It ought to do the trick. So we got an iron axe. And the snag that the village river is referring to is right here. Just literally a snag. <laughs> uh, hit that. It has 20 hit points. Falls down here. Creates a bridge where you can walk over and go here as opposed to taking the bridge and going over. It's just a bit of a shortcut. So we want to give some Ross the boss sweet experience. Again, Seth, you'll just be there for backup. And we'll move you here and we'll end our turn. So I'm excited to get Ross the boss a little bit more spotlight. As you can see, I kept the hatchet just in case. Um, that uh, skeleton dude, I forgot what they're called. Um, I don't I don't remember if he has like a javelin or something. So I kept the hatchet on just in case. And we got a weapon level up. That's pretty cool. Okay, yeah, I kind of assumed you'd go for Naomi there. That's okay. She's a she's a runner, she's a track star, she dodged out of the way. It's all good. And you have an iron sword, okay. Lucky two hit? Oh, okay. Attaboy, Ross the boss. Plus, since you're only a level 1 technically and you're a fresh promote, uh, you do get some fairly decent experience as well as well as some reinforcements. So we're actually going to go ahead and try and give this kill to Franz just to level him up for our future plans as a paladin with him. Okay, got a decent chunk of experience from that. We're going to go ahead and... Oh, yeah... Okay, we'll stick Arter here so he can go ahead and be in the forest for protection, as well as do uh, some major damage with his light magic to this monster here. This Revenant. 
And we'll use Ardor as well farther on down the line. Let's get some heals in for him because Ardor is a um, mag light magic user right now. Ugh, I'm drawing a blank on the name. Moldo's a priest. Monk. So Ardor is a monk and when Ardor gets to be level 10 or higher... Why did I not... Oh, that was a bad choice. Um, he has the option to promote. So he'll use a guiding ring. He'll promote either into a bishop or a sage, I believe. I'm um, drawing a blank on that one just because I've always used Ardor to be a bishop. Just because by the time he gets to the promotion at, promotional level, since I usually use my characters up to level 20 before I promote them, um, that, I, that then enables them to have like almost a mastery or at least an A rank in their light magic. And bishops in this game are broken, dude. So certain promoted classes have certain special abilities. Uh, we don't have any of those units right now. However, we will later. <laughs> and okay, and we got a crit. That's nice, Arbor. So certain promotion units have specific skill sets, like special skills. So Generals have like a great shield where I don't know what the percentage is, but every now and again um, If someone attacks them, they'll activate this great shield and they'll get dealt exactly zero damage Which is great um, Assassins have an insta kill special where if they get a crit uh, They also have a small chance on top of the crit to a Activate that. Oh, that's right law La Rachel, Rachel, Rachel Rennick and Dozla over here. <coughs> I can't allow this to happen. Come, we must charge down these cliffs and rush to their aid. We charge down these cliffs, and the only thing we're rushing to is death. How about we find us a nice, gentle path down? Hmm. Ah, yes. Well, let us hurry, nonetheless. I simply cannot abide those wicked beasts running amok. And those are some units we'll have access to later. However. As I was saying, um, priests, so sorry, pr not priests, um, bishops, that's what I meant to say. Bishops later on have a specific uh, special skill where that's called Slayer, and that um, basically enhances damage to all undead monsters, like the ones we're facing now. Um, however, post game and near the end of the game, that is all you'll be fighting. Uh, human monsters just. You're in human monsters. Human enemies just get thrown out the window, and yeah, it's just not a lot of human enemies to speak of at all. So, uh, it'll come in real handy later on when we get him leveled up and then promoted. I think what I'm going to do is we're going to go get loot as well. So, we're going to send some units down this way. I'm going to give Fran some heals just because we're here and he has three. <clears throat> the very least he's got some um, chip experience for Molder to possess and we'll actually have we'll have Seth come down here I was gonna say and start to chip at it but okay never mind you'll just completely destroy it so let's move down here and we'll just end our turn for now I guess uh, but yeah loot she is a mage and she is one of well, several um, normal magic users we have. Later on, we'll get Ewan um, or Ewan. These, they're just some names, man. If I'm if I'm butchering these, butchering, butchering these, I apologize. It's not not on purpose. I promise. <laughs> um, but anyway, we have Ewan later on. Then we have his teacher, um, Sela, and that's all that I can think of right now for normal magic users or anima magic or anima magic users I should say um, <coughs> but Louie get pretty on and they, they have all around good um, magic they have fairly high attack power as well as um, resistance they're kind of like a good middle ground because light magic is relatively weaker however they have more uses and it is well, light magic, I guess I'm not great at explaining these kind of things, but... Uh, okay, we'll send Seth in here <coughs> to make a bridge, and then we'll send in Franz in here to get some experience. 
Um, so yeah, we'll get loot. We'll have her work some of her magic. Uh, that pun was very intended there. <laughs> um, and let's we'll continue on. So Franz is almost leveled up. I kind of want to... Nah, we'll have to level you up eventually, and it'll be easier now as opposed to the tower. <coughs> oh, excuse me, pardon the cough as well. Uh, last week, I was sick and out of work for a couple days, and still got a little bit of a cough coming, stemming from that, I should say. So we're actually... We're going to start sending Mulder the Boulder this way. Mulder will stay here, Ross... You can just kind of hang out on the river, and we'll get healed, and then move you in, so you can go ahead and take down these enemies and get a nice level up from at least the boss. And we'll just continue. We'll just continue having friends over there. Oh crap! Okay, uh, my bad. Forgot about the reinforcements. Forgot that was the thing. Um, okay, we gotta be smart about this. Vanessa, you're gonna die. I already get that vibe. Um, she's almost level. F I th I think if I think if we keep her here, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, she should be able to survive attacks from all four. If they all four hit, as long as they all do four damage, okay. Um, oh crap! No, because she doesn't double. She doesn't kill them after a double. And you probably still won't. Eh, defense res though, and same thing with speed. Okay, we're gonna have... Where can you go? Okay, we're gonna just throw Gilliam in here to help clean up. Uh, he's got a pretty high defense. And... Let's see here. Oh, uh, no, I don't trust you moving in there. We're just gonna have you stay here. Ah, you'll be fine, Eric. I believe in you. So we'll just heal up Ross the boss here, and we'll go ahead and move him in just a little more now that he's fully healed. Move him into a nice forest, I don't think. Okay, yeah, boss can't move that far, so we'll be able to get loot before we... We'll be able to get loot before we end. That'll be good. Okay, yeah, with her defense boost, man, 32% on the last guy and 30 for this guy, and still... Still hitting. Man, you got some shit luck, Erica. I don't know what your luck stat is, but, like, just realistic luck. Okay, if that would have hit, I would have been questioning. Alright. Well, that's not too bad. So, Erica survives. She got a decent chunk of experience and a level up. I'll, I'll take it. <coughs> Fran's gonna get some more experience here as well. Um, we'll more than likely double this revenant, so we'll be able to... Yep, so double the revenant. Get some experience and a nice cleanup. And a level up, okay. Let's see what you got, buddy. Strength, skill, not a great level up, but, I mean, strength and skill are pretty decent. I'll take it. I'm never going to complain until I get those level ups that have literally one um, stat increase, or God forbid zero, because that's happened plenty of times in my life. Oh, goodness gracious. I can't handle that kind of stress. <laughs> I don't know if friends will double this guy. Does not matter though. At a boy, Franz, that three percent crit. All right, doesn't even matter if you double or not. I'll take it. And then with the hatchet, Ross should be able to clean up here. Does not even get touched. I'll take it. That's also a plus. We're doing pretty good so far. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and visit. Here. <coughs> Reflesh shows no signs of putrefaction. It seems you're not a revenant. I decided to join you in battle now. My name is Loot, and I'm a mage of superior wisdom and rare ability. I've been reading up on these revenants. They are, quite simply, no match for me. I am superior, after all. Okay. Well, we're not really going to be able to do a lot with her. But we can move Ross the boss in, equip an iron axe, wait, we'll do this, I got a plan, I got a plan, I promise, don't you worry. We'll 
We'll have Erica do some damage here to get some experience. Uh, um, I got some plans for Vanessa in the future, so let's go ahead and throw that. And then we'll have Gilliam do some cleanup on this guy with his one health. <laughs> Okay, all that should be left after this should be the boss. Yep, there's that infamous boss music, or boss music, sorry. Infamous last enemy standing music. And he has a fetid claw. I'm just gonna call it a fetid claw. He has a fetid claw, which is, um, it's it's a lower hit rate than the, than the razor claw that the other one, the sharp claws that the other guys have. But it hits a lot harder. And those um, Remnant monsters that look like him, I forget the name, I think they're called Entombed. Um, those Entombed guys have pretty much a guaranteed 100 like experience points depending on like your, your low level units. It's kind of, I'm trying, I'm not explaining it well, but they give a lot of good experience. So I'll quit talking so you guys can follow along with the story and I'll be back in a sec. All right, and I am back now. Before we're gonna see some moving around here. Sorry. Before I continue and save, I'm fairly confident that the next chapter is one that I'm not gonna be able to access the mini map for. So we are going to go ahead and just make a save state. That's it. We had a save state. That that's pretty much it. So, okay. Uh, if that's the case, we'll go ahead and I don't know. On my screen, it cuts out on the recording when I full screen it, but I'm not entirely sure what it looks like for you guys. So, we'll just go ahead and shave. Oh, that's right. It's after this next one. Okay. So, well, I'm in a save state for no apparent reason, but. I know it's after this next chapter. So, the next chapter we're going to go to Seraphue. And we're going to get a new character. Two new characters, actually. So, I am excited. Alright, but in the meantime, until the next time we meet, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I will catch you in the next video. See you guys later.